Okay, so uh, if we're talking about multiplying a vector by a scalar, well, remember a vector is something that has it's a it's a movement in the coordinate plane. I mean, technically, it is again something that has both magnitude and direction. Um, but for us, magnitude is length, and direction is just you know where we're going in the plane. It's a movement in the plane. And we ask ourselves, like, what does it mean to multiply that by a number? A scalar is just a number, like 5 or 11 or 15 or something like that, just numbers. Um, so what does it mean to multiply a movement in the plane by a number? Okay. Um, and, well, what we can take a look at an example here and think about that. I've got a vector here. It's uh, 4, 2. And I could take that vector, and if I want to double its length, like we talked about before, I get a new vector, which is 8, 4, which goes in the same direction, but it's twice as long. Now, this 8, 4 here, I could represent this a couple different ways. Um, I could represent it as 8, 4, which is really 2 times 4, 2 times 2. Or I could think of it as 2 times the vector, oh, that should be a 2, 4, 2. So and so I could multiply the two, each component by two itself to get eight four. So I take four two and I multiply the x and y component separately by two to get eight four. Or I could think of it like, well, I've got you know one of these followed by another. I got two of them. I multiply the whole vector times two. So and and it works out the same either way. I get the same vector in the end whether I think of it as a single vector that's twice as long, or I can kind of think of it as two back-to-back -back smaller vectors. And the same would apply with any sort of scalar. I could you know, multiply it by negative three or pi or, or square root of two or whatever. You know? So say, for example, if I wanted to do, I don't know, I'm going to go three and five. Right? I want to multiply that by the scalar square root of two. Well, I could, I could leave it like this. I could say, well, this is a, a single vector here. I've got, well, this seems a little bit confusing. What does it mean to have square root of two vectors? Our analogy up here doesn't quite hold there, but we can do, think of it that way. Or I can bring it inside and go three square root of two, five square root of two. So I can think of this as a single vector that goes to, you know, goes these two distances. This is our change in x, that's our change in y, so the, this is a vector that moves an object three times the square root of two units to the to the right and five times the square root of two units up. Or I can think of it as, you know, square root of two times, you know, this particular vector that, that goes three units over and five units up. Right? So if you're asked to, like, you know, find the components for a vector and it's written like that, you're really just asking you to multiply the scalar, the number on the outside, um, by the two components on the inside. And that's all we're asking you to do.